Hello everyone, this is Amrita from Informatica GCS. In this video, I am going to explain about how to use user defined variables in the MI task. We will go through the demo now. Before that, we can see how we can use uh, variables to parameterize the source and target directory. So, there are two types of variables here one is system variables, and the other is user defined variables. System variables are those for which values will be uh, generated by the system. You can see the kind of system variables uh, that can be used. These are the list of system variables. So, these are system generated, and uh, but in case of user defined variables, we will define a variable in this following format and uh, once we define user defined variables, it is not possible to run the task from the uh, UI itself. We need to use mass ingestion REST API to run the job. Uh, we'll see that later. Before that, we can see uh, how we can give a user defined variable in the in my task. So uh, for the user for the source directory or the target directory, uh, we can format the variable in this in this way. Like we need to have a dollar and uh, uh, followed by curly braces inside which we can give the variable name. I opened mass ingestion uh, in ISAS console. Now, uh, now we can see how we can give uh, user defined variables in this task. So this is a task which I have already created before. Now I would like to parameterize a few fields in this. So source directory and the file pattern uh, we can parameterize uh, with the help of user defined variables. So, uh, as we discussed before, system variables we can give with the help of this option. Add parameters. Uh, these are the list of system variables we can use. So, for now, we'll use a user defined variable for the source directory and the file pattern. Source directory. Pattern. Now, you can see this. The job is updated. Now, uh, we cannot run this uh, FMI job because we have uh, given the user defined variable but we did not initialize uh, it with the value that we need to do with the help of REST API. So, in order to run a job with the help of user defined variables, we need to use a mass ingestion REST API. So, this is the documentation for that. You can use this URI to run a uh, file ingestion task. And then, these are the request uh, body we need to give task ID and the task name. For the user defined variables, we can give this. Uh, list of variables in this. I opened the Postman application to send the REST API request uh, to run the MI job. So this is the URL and then uh, we use the POST as a HTTP method. In the body we will be providing these details, task ID, task name and the user defined variables, list of uh, uh, variables which we have used in the MI task. Uh, so as I have given a source directory and the file pattern, I am providing the values in the body. And the task ID uh, of the MI uh, job will be getting it from the mass ingestion uh, UI itself. So when you click on this MI task in the URL, so after FI task, whatever ID is there, this will be the uh, task ID. So the same task ID will be giving it in the body. And coming to the headers, you need to provide uh, IDS session ID accept and uh, the content type so content type and accept will be application json and the ids session id will get it from the uh, response of uh, login rest api call so i'm going to the login rest api resource so when uh, this is the resource to log into the ags uh, with this username and password and in headers uh, we need to provide accept and content type their values will be application json only so when i send this request i will get the ic session id and the 
so so where url uh, if you can see this will be the server url you will copy this part and then the ic session id from here going back to mi job resource i need to provide the id uh, that ic session id here and in the url so you can provide the server url here i have already given so based on your uh, uh, server url you can provide it here and that should be appended and this uh, mft saas api v1 job needs to be appended after that server url once this is done uh, we can send the request so you can see the response is uh, 200 and once we are uh, if we are able to uh, trigger the mi job uh, then we will be getting 200 as a response and the, in the response we contain it contains these three fields so this is how we can use a uh, user defined variables in the mi task and can uh, run the job using the rest api by this we come to the end of this video for more information you can go through this documentation we would love to hear feedback for this videos from you thanks for watching this video